Hey, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you guys some film that I recently loaded up in a Kodak point shoot camera and that is Fujifilm Pro 400H. I have some of this film sitting around in the freezer. I ordered it before the discontinue um, announcement came out. So luckily I didn't have to pay the prices that people are paying now, but I loaded it up and took the point shoot to a Dallas Cowboys football game. And I really love how these photos came out. With a point shoot, you're kind of limited to the focal length that is built into the camera, but I just kind of chilled in my spot and just took photos throughout the game. So I have a handful that I would like to share with you guys. And here we are. So a point shoot comes in really handy when there's limitations at like arenas and whatnot that you can't use um, interchangeable lens cameras or lenses longer than three inches. My original plan was to take my small Nikon Heat M with a pancake lens so I could have a little more better quality of actually having glass. But this Kodak point shoe has never failed me. Um, I bought it for like $5 at a flea market a couple years ago. It sat for a while, but now um, I kind of take it everywhere with me. So it com comes in really handy. <clears throat> with that said, it's nice to not be able to have to worry about your settings. You can just take the photo and it does let you know if it's going to be underexposed by giving you a red light when you have shutter. Um, push the shutter button down halfway, it'll tell you it's going to be underexposed if you get a red light. So I couldn't remember if I got any red lights during this, but most of the shots came in a little underexposed. I wish they were probably exposed one stop over. Um, I guess I'll keep that in mind next time if I take this camera to a future game as we go to a Dallas Cowboys game every year. But I thought it was really um, interesting to see the shots, see how they came out. I did make some small adjustments with the white balance and the exposure overall. So these shots could be at least presentable to my small cell phone screen of Instagram um, and to YouTube um, to you guys. So if you have any questions, let me know below. If you have any suggested films I should try, let me know in the comments below. And I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. See you guys next time.